now the Lakers starting group. Andres Harrell is out there with Mark Gasol. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the two. And for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubas. And it's Jackson in at the one spot. Now here is George. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. On the wing, George launches a three. They get it back. Zubats outside for Jackson. Pass to Batum. It's George on the wing. Six on the shot clock. A second chance effort. Basket good. Now for the teams that are clearly rebuilding. Should they simply play the young guns, Greg, no matter what, or should they make them earn their minutes? Kev, you know, I don't know that there's a, a, a right answer to that. I think it's really about the personnel and the personalities of the guys on that roster. And really, the front office should play a big role in that as well. But it, it's a it's a hard call. You got to believe enough in those young guys to say, hey, that's our future. We're going in that direction. Uh, but you still got to also take care of your veteran guys who are kind of setting the table for your future. A pull-up. Uses the glass that time, and it's good. Uh, and Caldwell Pope just knows how to run correctly in transition. He runs wide outside those hashes. He sees lanes and angles so well out there. Now, here's George. 17 points for him last game against San Antonio. And his scoring's going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. Now Caldwell Pope. Nicholas Batu missing from long range. Count that one. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers in their last game, a loss to the Pelicans. Strange to see Marcus Gasol shooting from outside. His game, Greg, wasn't always like it is now. But, I mean, he's Gasol has added a three to his game in the last seasons with Memphis and it was an immediate success. He became a functioning stretch five. Early in his career, he's more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else. Here's Jackson following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Jackson. Leonard on the wing. Six to shoot. From deep, George. That shot misses. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Well, how often do we hear it? You know, you've got to take care of the basketball. I mean, they've got to be much more disciplined tonight. Kicks it out to Schroeder. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. This is the kind of teammate the team is. You like seeing them share it like this. Schroeder outside. He's looking for Harrell and finds him. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide open three like that. Jackson deciding where to go with it. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Oh, and really, Jackson excels when the defense gets physical with him. He's more than up for any challenge. Schroeder outside. A pass to Kuzma. Puts it up there for Harrell. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Leonard with no one around. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. And the reflexes are just key. Why is already anticipating that shot before he even gets the ball. Pass to Kuzma. Inside. Leonard with the steal. Outside. George. And Batum kicks to George. Leonard finds George. Left side, Leonard. Back to George. Batum wide open. He fights. That three off the mark. The Lakers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. 
And it's Harrell at the elbow. It's hauled in by Zubac. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Clippers lead by one. And we'll... Show up. And earlier we got a few words from Mark Gasol regarding his former teammate in Toronto, Kawhi. The way he plays defensively, you know what he's... And of course, Gasol and Leonard won the championship together in 2019, largely great because of their ability to play defense and get stops. And two former defensive players of the year on the same team. That's going to be your foundation. But both guys were tremendous at the other end as well, albeit in different ways. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. Guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off, keeping things in disarray for that offense. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So for the Clippers right now, we've got Marcus Morris. Lou Williams out there with Kennard. Then there's Patrick Patterson, and it's man in at the small forward position. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. And here's Kennard. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Got a piece of it. An average shot blocker. I mean, you want Kuzma to use his vertical more to redirect shots. Lakers trail by three. Caruso looking for an opening. He kicks it to Matthews. Kuzma outside. Lakers working the ball around now. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Matthews. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Clippers leading by three. Pass to Mann. Down low. Out to Morris. Nobody near Williams. And again, no good by the Clippers. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Passes it to Kuzma. Matthews, no one around him. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Last outing for the Clippers. They won that game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. So the crowd didn't seem to phase them at all. They knew what their game plan was and followed it accordingly. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kennard. I tell you, he can shoot it. He's a crafty finisher and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not a leap to, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. Taken away by Williams. And they're running. Here's Kennard. Throws down the breakaway jam. Watch out, Luke Kennard. Clear the taker. Lakers trail by seven. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Caruso, no good. The Clippers have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Now here's Williams. He's tightly guarded. And the pass to Kennard. To the inside. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Oh, as good as he is at creating his own shot, Kennard is also a solid distributor. He doesn't miss the open man when he spots him. Caruso kicks to Kuzma. And again, the Lakers no good. Here now the Clippers. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Pass to Williams. To the right side. Kuzma against Patterson. Pass to Mann. Fires from deep. Shot clock at six. Williams. And stolen by Kuzma. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Caruso. Kuzma. It's good on the putback. 
masterful of timing when to go after offensive rebound. Kuzma excels at getting the right position. Man passes to Williams. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Passes to Horton Tucker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now it's only a five-point Clipper lead. Look at Morris break down the defense on this play. If they leave one of his guys open, he's going to get it to him fast. Morris outside. Kennard on the wing. To the paint. Here's Mann. Out to Morris. Williams dishes to Patterson. Kennard on the wing. Here's Mann. And again, no good by the Clippers. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for the Los Angeles Lakers. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. That's just the communication and, and the energy you just see non-existent on defense. And that can't happen, not this level. Outside Williams, in the corner, it's Morris. Back to Williams, to the left wing. Here's Mann. Good. The nice assist for Williams. And the Clippers lead by five. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a... Thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much danger. And that should do it. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Yeah, he's busting his tail, making his presence known. A great job defensively so far. Taking a look at the Lakers. We've got Caldwell Pope. Marcus Saul is out there with Harrell. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Kuzma. And at the three, the small forward. Kicks it to Schroeder. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg, or do they do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin and Kevin that's a, a great question and believe it or not you see both I've seen guys mm. who do it to get under your skin and I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit that's how they derive their confidence and so uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you I've seen some guys they don't say smack they don't they don't say a word during the course of the game but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that right now. No, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Left side, Gasol. Kuzma, outside. Back to Gasol. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Kuzma finds Caldwell Pope. Off target with his three. Clippers leading by five. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Back to George. Leonard on the wing. Launches it. Rebound the Lakers. Might take him a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. They just need to calm down play their game. Caldwell Pope for three. Drills the three-pointer. Caldwell Pope's got seven points in the game. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Outside for Jackson. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Now the pass to Gasol. Caldwell Pope against Jackson. 
And there's Mark Gasol on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Gasol's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. And see Webb, Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He, he knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. Yeah, and one of the team players, you know, I mean, KCP dedicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now. And that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. And there's never been any question about George's three-point range. He just goes through stretches where he knocks down the three at a ridiculous rate. Oh, Moore is in position. Oh, man, challenging the defense inside with the pass. That's just good ball move. Outside Jackson. Misses the three. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Schroeder kicks to Morris. Kicks it out to Schroeder. For the lead, the Clippers grab the miss. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Sure. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Montrez Harrell did not like that. And putting his explosive athleticism on full display there, George is capable of some highlight reel dunks. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Left side, George. Zubats the pass to Jackson. Here's Batum. Five on the clock. Leonard, no luck. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Lakers. They trail by one. Caldwell Pope for three. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. And George with the stuff. And a little verticality there from George, not to mention the timing between those two on the alley-oop. 26 seconds left to play in the third. Schroeder outside. Wants to get it to Morris and does. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Outside Leonard. Batum inside the three-point line. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Clippers lead by one. We'll be back shortly. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. They've got Morris. Paul George is out there with Williams. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Patterson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Here's Caruso. Drills it from outside. Caruso's got himself on the board with three there. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. And George kicks to Williams. There's the feed to Patterson. Pass to George. And George with the stuff. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. It's so quick and explosive. Gets to the rim in an instant. Horton Tucker, the pass to Matthews. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. To the wing right side. Here's Caruso. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. Out to Morris in the corner. George with it. No good with the triple. The Lakers shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Morris outside. 
Pass to Caruso. Oh, Moore is in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Outside Leonard. To the middle. Here's Patterson. The kick out to Williams. It's good from long range. And the Clippers lead by one. And such a confident player. Williams knows he has the trust of his coaches and teammates to take those shots. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for the Lakers. The Clippers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Williams passes to Morris. It's Patterson atop the key. Back to George. A three ball. A shot missing. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Kuzma outside. Pass to Caruso. Jacks up a three. Traps in the tray. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? On the wing, George. Back to Williams. Leonard the pass to Morris. Here is Williams. From deep, George. Good. The nice assist for Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. Reminding us again why he's one of the game's great clutch shooters. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Batum comes in for Morris. The Lakers also making some changes. On Trezero, he's checked in for Markeith Morris. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. Lock at six. Knocks it loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. The Lakers with the ball. Here's Harold, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. And George gets it to go. Now it's a three-point Clipper lead. And, guys, George takes pride in hitting big shots. Just get him the ball and let him do his thing. Schroeder outside. Bob pass to Gasol. And Gasol with the dunk. When you need a big bucket, Gasol is there. And as dependable as they come. George dishes to Batum. Leonard kicks to George. There's the pass to Leonard. Jackson has the open look. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists tonight. Oh, man, you love how calm Jackson stays in these pressure-filled moments, showing true leadership by burying the bucket. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Off target from outside. The Clippers have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Jackson finds Batum. Now Leonard. Batum passes to Jackson. Up top, Zubas. A three from Leonard. That shot off. So the Lakers will take it the other way. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. Oh, you're right. Time is of the essence. You got to move. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Outside Jackson. And a Zubats atop the key. And George kicks to Jackson. On the wing, but two. And here's Leonard from three. Hits it from three-point range. And in college, Leonard was a 25% shooter from three. Boy, how times have changed. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparation. Here's a look at some of the stats for him. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez. Oh! <laughs> When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Schroeder against Holiday. Tipped away. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. From outside, off the mark. Here's DiVincenzo. 17 points for him last game against Boston. And Holiday has it in the corner. Back to DiVincenzo. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Holiday. And the layup's good off the glass. Greg, we're still involved in the conference system. Does it hold relevance as we're looking here at the standings midseason? You know, for travel distance, yes. And, and there's also some tradition at stake. I, I mean, look, the, that said, in a perfect world, you'd like to see the best 16 teams make the playoffs each year. But we've had, you know, imbalance in conferences forever. So that's not going to change. Uh, but sometimes change is just necessary. How about quickly for the playoffs? Would you like to reseed and take the top 16s, 1 through 16? I would. I think that'd be a great idea. Here's Schroeder. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Tremendous work inside by Dennis, using every inch of his frame to finish. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, here's DiVincenzo. It's deflected. Pushing it up. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Tips it. And Gasol able to finish. Mark Gasol does so many things. One of my favorite attributes, toughness and grit he brings to this team. Schroeder against Holland. Lopez passes to Holiday. Shoots over Schroeder. Here's Lopez. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Whatever drawbacks Lopez may have, scoring in the post isn't one of them. He is a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with down low. One shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Schroeder softly drops in the floater. Deadly with the teardrop. Schroeder gets great lift and uses his touch to guide it in. Lopez outside. Back to Anadokounmpo. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Schroeder up top. He had 15 points last out. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And so he hits the technical free throw. Dennis Schroeder, the 17th overall pick in 2013 out of Germany. He's got a flair you don't associate with European players. The Bucks making a switch here. Avi Portis has checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Matthews, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. There's a minute left here in the opening quarter. 
Outside Portis. Come to me, come to me. Rebound by Harold. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Matthews, no good. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first. And there is a whistle. That goes on Bryn Forbes. That's his first foul. Outside Matthews. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Feeds it to Harold. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Here's Connaughton. Here's Tucker to the wing on the left. And that one's good from Connaughton. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And after just... We recently caught up with Drew Holiday, who talked about some... Being able to go through adversity and come out strong. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And as we return, it's Noche Latina, celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yes, you know this, G.A., back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. On the court from Milwaukee here in the second, Chris Middleton is out there with P.J. Tuck. Then there's Bobby Portis, and it's Forbes in at the point. Here's Connaughton. Lays it up off the glass. Connaughton's got the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. Cutting his teeth in the Spurs system, Forbes has improved at keeping his eyes up and finding the open band. Here's Caruso. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. Six to shoot. A putback. Harrell on the follow. Incredible activity from Montrez Harrell. So many of his points is off the offensive glass. Here's Connaughton. He's covered by Matthews. Here's Portis. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Los Angeles. Eight-point game. Loads it up there for Harrell. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And the energy of a guy like Montrez Harrell can rub off on the entire team. Yes, it can. G.A., he plays with a high motor, generates steals, blocks, and deflections. He's active all over the court, and now we're seeing it on the office event as well. And a determined shooter who excels at the charity strike. Middleton will gladly head to the line. Teams have dynasties, the 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucks. For me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with Kristoff, uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played, but don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have. Man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Schroeder against Holiday. It's tipped. It's so about It's a Kumbo. Now here's Middleton coming off a stellar performance against Boston. Even Genzo against Caldwell Pope. 
Four on the shot clock. Here's Middleton. Rebound the Lakers. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentokounmpo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek Freak. But it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity. David, thank you. And good touch there on the floater. A shot KCP is adding to his arsenal. Holiday dishes to Middleton. The kick out to Holiday. Over in the corner, onto the Kumbo. And Giannis throws it down. Hey, guys, that's a sight we've become far too accustomed to see. Onto the Kumbo throwing it down like it was just another day at the office. Here's Schroeder. Holiday with the defensive effort. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. It's so strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Holiday against Schroeder. Gasol on the high post. Caldwell Pope feeling it out a bit. From downtown, Lopez grabs the board. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. It's Milwaukee with the advantage at the half. They are leading by 12. And And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. And we saw just how important he is for this team in the first half. He was getting everyone involved. We see it night in and night out. When you move the ball, keep your teammates involved, good things happen at the offensive end. Marcus Saul is out there with Markeith Morris. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Caldwell Pope in at two guard. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Kuzma, that's good. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Even Genzo with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Lopez tips it back in. Lopez has got the lead up to 12 now for the Bucks. Oh, hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Schroeder passes to Gasol. Kicks it out to Schroeder. Back to Gasol. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. Matthews comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Here's Giannis. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Andre de Kumbo's got eight. And I really marvel at the touch of Ante de Kumpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. Loads it up there for Harrell. Up high to stop the alley oop. If you start the alley oop, Harrell can usually finish it. He's an explosive big man with good hands. Who's got ball? And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. 
Holiday finds Tucker. Middleton outside. Holiday, no one around him. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. Lakers trail by 14. Here's Caruso, currently averaging almost six points a game. To the paint, stolen away. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Holiday. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Caruso, the pass to Harrell. That one goes. Count it. Harrell's got four points in the quarter. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And Tucker kicks to Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. Caruso looking for an opening. And the powerful one-handed slam. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard with that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Middleton against Morris. The kick out to Holiday. Middleton drives in. Tucker. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And that one's good, Caruso. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Bucks leading by 14. Giannis outside. Dishes to Tucker. The kick out to Holiday. Bucks passing it around. The pass to Tucker. Back to Giannis. And another basket for Milwaukee. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Kuzma outside. Knocked loose. Here is Forbes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. On the wing, Holiday. Good if it goes. Oh, and he just knocked down. Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on... And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They score it again for this quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Bucks, they've got P.J. Tucker, also Brooke Lopez out there, and it's Connaughton in at the, the small four, and they get it back. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the SWAT. Want to see more of this from the big fella. Schroeder against Holiday. Lopez passes to Connaughton. Hands it from downtown. And the Bucks lead by 21. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, oof, Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics, having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Oh, he'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. 
And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shots now starting to fall. Outside Holiday. Back to Forbes. The kick out to Lopez. Outside Holiday. Clock at four. Rebound the Lakers. Gasol's got five rebounds tonight. Horton Tucker, that's good. Horton Tucker's got his first points of the game. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Passes it to Tucker. Here is Forbes. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Here's Lopez. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Harold. Here's Holiday. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. When Holiday's feeling good, he causes plenty of these. Able to power through contact and finish. Bobby Portis has checked in for Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Brent Forbes. And for Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's best when he lets the game come to him when he's not forcing shots, not making things tough on himself, not making tough passes. Uh, you know, Smitty, a simple approach does wonders for him. Kevin, you applaud the maturity of KCP to realize that he knew he needed to change his game to improve. Focusing on making the easy play has made him a very valuable member of this team. Here's Harold. Hangs. And he sinks the layup. What a great shot. This is why Harold shoots over 60% for his career. Pass to Holiday. Back to Portis. Pass to DiVincenzo. Another shot. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. Back to Connaughton. Here we go. One on one. Loads it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley oop slam. Dominating in the scoring column. Something Harrell can do for you now. And there's the pass to Holiday. 149 left to play in the final quarter. Portis in the post. He is defended by Harrell. Count it. Bobby Portis plays hard, gives 100%, puts himself in a position to succeed. Shooter passes to Horton Tucker. Schroeder against Holiday. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some changes for the Lakers. Markeith Morris has checked in for Montrez Harrell. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Antetokounmpo has checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. Six on the shot clock. Shoots the three. And Drew Holiday, the bucket on the assist from Antetokounmpo. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Bucks. A few times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale booster. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Drew Holiday. You love to see this kind of leadership. Directing traffic, keeping everyone happy. He was the straw that stirred the drink. Portis, the pass to Connaughton. Pulls up on the elbow. That one wide left. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Schroeder. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Drawing contact inside. Dennis Schroeder using his reach and quickness to compensate for his height disadvantage. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Here's Karuch.
Here's the three. Missed. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
2k uh, if you're going for the 2k league you need to be uh, really out there in the community twitter and everything UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And here were the Clippers arriving earlier, getting mentally prepared. Now it's ended up. Hey, Kevin. Very dangerous indeed. David, thanks. And the Clippers starting five. Jackson is out there with Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. 
and it's Patterson in at the four slot. And for Milwaukee, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's the fast break, Giannis leading the way. Outside Holiday. Milwaukee getting another chance here. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, this team likes to see Lopez working hard on the glass. That's a part of his game he must continue to improve upon. Here's George. Here's Zubats out to the wing. Patterson can't get it to go. And it's the Bucks ball. Poke loose. Giannis passes to Lopez. Middleton outside. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Off target from three-point range. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles for the finish. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Down low. Here's Holiday. Back to Lopez. Shoots over Patterson. Lopez, no luck. The Clippers have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Leonard attacking. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Pass to Middleton. Outside Holiday. Lopez left side. Shot clock at six. And Lopez throws it down hard. Well, one aspect that makes Lopez dangerous is size. It's seven foot, and he doesn't have to go far to slam it home. And George kicks to Leonard, passes to Patterson. George against DiVincenzo. It's tipped, and he gets it back. We call that masterful use of the pump fake. Paul George effective getting guys to jump on it. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Patrick Patterson. Well, as we enter the back half of the season, some players are worn down. But, Greg, are there certain players who really dial in at this point, who find traction with their game? No doubt about it, Kevin. Especially for the veterans who understand it's a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, you know, you, you really are trying to build up towards this portion and then take your game and your mindset to another level. So this is a time for those guys when they just start to hit their stride. Giannis outside. Bucks passing it around. Here's Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Lopez has got six points. Last outing for the Clippers, they won that game against the Spurs in San Antonio. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Batum finds Morris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You see, you can't be too physical with Marcus Morris. This guy is so strong, and he's so good at drawing the foul. And it's tied up with that one. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Outside Holiday. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Connington kicks it to Tuck. The kick out to Holiday. Here's Connington. No good on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. That puts them in the lead. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now here is Holiday. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The pass to Forbes. 
Here's Connaughton. Yep, that one goes. 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. Inside, here's Morris. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Lou Williams is the all-time leader in points off the bench, but don't sleep on his passing game. What an assist. Forbes, the pass to Holiday. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batu. That's his first foul. Thirty-four seconds left to play here in the first. Over to the left wing. Back to Connaughton. Just five to shoot. Eleven feet away. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Williams kicks to Morris. Williams looking around. Can't cash in from a high post. That's one he knows he should have drained. Tie game in Milwaukee. We'll get things started in the... And when asked to compare himself to LeBron James, Giannis... I know if I put the work in, maybe. maybe. And, Greg, that's the humble, hard-working approach we've come to expect from Giannis. You know, he's not interested in putting himself on a pedestal. Enough people do that for him. He just wants to become the best he can be and win rings. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. We've got Luke Kennard. Patrick Patterson is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Williams. And it's man in at the three. Middleton. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And it's the Clippers ball. After this one, they're off to San Antonio to take on the Spurs. It'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Well, that's just stellar concentration from the talented forward. Marcus Morris effective at keeping his balance on these tough, tough finishes. Here's Connaughton taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. But they get it back. Pass to Forbes. To the inside. And stolen by Patterson. Kennard, the pass to Williams. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Boy, this guy has a knack for converting in the N1 situations. Lou Williams, sweet Lou. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Brook Lopez has checked in for Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Pat Connaughton. Here is Forbes. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Williams banked in off the glass. Williams has got the lead up to seven now for the Clippers. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Picks it down to Middleton. They need this. And again, the Bucks miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And the rejection by Giannis. Jackson, Leonard with no one around. Had the space there, but it's offline. And it's Middleton penetrating and got And it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double-checking, and the game continues on. 
Here's DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. Kicks it to Antetokounmpo. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. That's foul number two for him. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? A three for DiVincenzo. Batum grabs the miss. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Clippers. Only given up two points this quarter. Hey, you're asking for trouble now if you let Paul George get room to run. Excellent transition and superb at getting himself in the right position. Here's Antetokounmpo. Paul George making his last shot. Antetokounmpo finds Lopez. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Lopez has got eight points. Outside Leonard. Inside. And the dunk by Zubac. Well, Kawhi Leonard's passing skills have developed over the years. And if you give him that much attention, he'll find his teammates. It's deflected. Lopez dishes to Middleton. Six to shoot. Here's Holiday. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. Both free throws good from Holiday. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they won their last contest that game against Boston. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Leonard against Giannis. Leonard kicks to Zubats over Lopez. Jackson down low, defended by DiVincenzo. Jackson misses. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Now the feed to Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. It's tipped. Lopez. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. You know this. If you're open, you can count on Brooke Lopez to find you. He uses his height to spot open teammates. George passes to Jackson. George against Lopez. That's good for George on the assist by Jackson. George has got four this quarter. Bucks trail by five. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. Offline with his three. The Clippers have gone seven of 11 from the field in the second quarter. And here's Leonard from three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Now the Bucks moving it up. Back to Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo shoves it in. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. From deep, George. And that one released in time, but no good. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to a pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much difference. And... And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. It's been a clinic from Brooke Lopez. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime. But he has the ability to answer right back. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the three. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Now here is George. It's good. George has got eight. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. 
down low. Here's Lopez on the dunk by Lopez. Well, how great is it to see Brooke Lopez dominate the game, taking over with his mastery of the offensive end. And George, here we go, uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 10. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Feeds it to Lopez. The shot by Middleton, wide open, and he hits it to tie the game up. Wow, what a start. Three for three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. Leonard attacking, and finished off by Leonard. Oh, good luck stopping that. Kawhi Leonard, huge, strong hands in total command of the basketball. Go ahead. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach, Doris, to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Well, we know that Paul George understands there's a certain point in the game when he's got to take over, and he's doing it now. The kick out to Holiday. but only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Here's Lopez. I see that time from Leonard. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. On the wing, George. And it's Paul George with the finish. Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. Get this guy in the dunk competition. Now, here is Holiday. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. George against DiVincenzo. George dishes to Patterson. This one for three, and there's Paul George on the assist by Patterson. Patterson's got three assists tonight. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Now here is Holiday. To the paint. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Lopez. Boy, I love watching Brooke Lopez go to work. Superb at playing to his strengths down on the box. Here's Leonard. He's an offensive force, averaging nearly 26 points a game. And that one, good. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Middleton for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. George passes to Patterson. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul, and they go to the line. If I remember when Patrick Patterson was coming out of high school, major recruiting battle. Every school seemed to want this guy. Duke, Florida, you name it. But the Kentucky Wildcats win again. First one falls for him. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Here is Forbes. Out to the right wing. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the Clippers. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Williams against Holiday. Williams with the ball. Nine points in the game so far. Second chance shot. Out to Morris. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. 
And the jam by Nicholas Batum. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. A holiday. Off the mark. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. So we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth, they've got Fatoum. He's out there with Marcus Morris. Williams is out there with Patrick Patterson. And it's Mann in at the one spot. No good that time. And Milwaukee the other way now. Here's Connaughton. No good from outside. Los Angeles leading by 11. Williams with a clean look. His three-pointers off the mark. Connington gets to Middleton. A steal. And Williams with the clear path to the hoop. And Williams with the stuff. Well, Lou Williams in the open floor is just a bucket, folks. And so Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. Back to Connington. Portis, the pass to Tucker. Here's Connaughton in the corner. Middleton with it. The wing jumper off target. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Clippers moving the ball around. And Patterson kicks to Williams. Morris outside. Patterson passes to Williams. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Middleton leading the charge. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. A shot by Batum, no good. Bucks trail by 13. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the wide open shot from Morris. And it's off from three-point range. For Milwaukee, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Middleton, the pass to Portis. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start start talking about having to guard the three-point line. So the D giving him a little bit of space beyond the three-point line, and that's all the room he needs. Batum dishes to Patterson. Back to Batum. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Batum. Just five on the clock. Here's Patterson. Good on the bucket. And the Clippers lead by 12. Well, we know that Patrick Patterson can step away and be a force as a face-up guy, but still plenty dangerous inside. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Passes it to Patterson. Portis against Batum. A rebound by the Bucks. Middleton outside. Out 
outside, Holiday. The rebound by Patterson. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Batum. He's covered closely. Williams passes to Batum. Three-pointer. Williams can't hit. And here's Tucker. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Morris with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Mann passes to Patterson. He kicks it to Batum. Mann outside Williams. The pass to Morris. Down to five on the shot clock. And he comes up with the deuce. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. So the Clippers winning this one easily. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks.
Here on two, and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Lou Williams. And, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And the Clippers starting five. They've got Batum. Jackson is out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Zubat in at the five spot. And for the Lakers, they've got Marc Gasol. Morris is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Schroeder in at the one. Now here's Gasol. And here's Schroeder over Jackson. Lays it up and banks it in. Gasol's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Lakers. Leonard inside. He's against Kuzma. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Yeah, sloppy play sabotage. I mean, they'll have to be much more focused this time around. The Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. I see him, I see him. Schroeder with the ball. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And boy, did he have it going offensively. He lived at the line during that game as well, and that's, that's where he got a lot of those points. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Now here's Schroeder. His scoring average sitting at 15 points a game right now. That's a pretty sizable contribution. And at this part of the regular season, that rookie wall, Clark, is a real thing. You know that. Does it hit all rookies or, or just a couple? Kevin, I certainly think that's a real thing for every rookie. At some point, quite honestly, whether it's mental, physical, or a combination of the two, when you've only played 35, 40 games max in any given year, and now you're playing 85 to 90 when you count preseason games, your body needs time to adjust to that, and usually you've got to go through a wall to get to the other side of it. And that one is hammered home. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. 
they can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Schroeder. Paul George making his last shot. Schroeder kicks to Caldwell Pope. And a miss there on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. George, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Here's Schroeder. And Morris throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now, here's Zubats. A 14-point game for him in the win against San Antonio. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. I like their focus coming in. To oh, oh, that oh. was terrific! My goodness! Yeah, you know, George really enjoys being in the air. I mean, this guy has great body control and bounce, and his slams at times can be absolutely sick. Pass to Jackson. Back to George. On the wing, Jackson. Leonard attacking. Rejected by Gasol. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. Winner passes to Caldwell Pope. No good on the three. Clippers trail by eight. Here's George, the layup missed. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Pulls up. Gasol dishes to Morris. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. So both teams changing it up here. Harold down low. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Caruso. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Patterson. And here we go. George heading to the hoop. And George with the stuff. And George really good at recognizing his fast break opportunities and scorching, torching the defense with his speed and athleticism in transition. Deflects the pass. Out to Morris. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by six. Left side, Williams. In the corner, it's Morris. Williams finds Patterson. Kennard for three. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the NBA replay center in Sequoia. And that does it for the first quarter. The Lakers on top. They lead by four. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. The biggest area of growth for the WD on now having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game, so I, I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute to his team with an eye toward the greater goal. And we return to the second quarter, and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for the Lakers right now, they've got Matthews. Carroll is out there with Marquise Morris. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three spot. Williams comes with the double team. And stolen by Williams. Here's Mann. He doesn't hit that one. Good work defensively by Morris. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. A three-pointer is right on target. Kennard's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. 
Here's Caruso. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And Morris throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. And Williams, here we go. Rebound by Harold. Lakers leading by five. Wesley Matthews on the wing. A three-pointer, no good. The Clippers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Morris, left side. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. And the Lakers with some changes. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Marquise Morris. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Leonard's checked in. Morris with the bucket. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. Here's Schroeder. Harold, the pass to Horton Tucker. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And stolen by Patterson. Morris outside. Kicks to Patterson. Back to Morris, and the pass to Patterson. On the wing, Morris. Over to the wing, lock at six, and Leonard has it in the corner. It's stolen by Schroeder. There's 1.54 left to play in the first half. Harold, the pass to Horton Tucker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic ah. uh, is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll, in part because of his instinct. You know, it doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still yes. terrific. Uh, and, and I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and in the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. And Batum kicks to Zubats. Here's George. Over Caldwell Pope, and again, no good by the Clippers. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And it's George finishing it off. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson, using his poise and vision to make a play. Here's Horton Tucker. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Bobbed up there for Schroeder. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kawhi Leonard. You know, you can't go for that if you're the defender. Kuzma is really good at faking you out with the ball fake. And both free throws good for Kuzma. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Jackson dishes to Leonard. Last break, the Lakers. Here's Caldwell Pope. Schroeder against Jackson, 14 feet away. It's hauled in by George. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq, a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the... 
And that should... We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Without question, George is playing his skills today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubas, and it's Batum in at the four spot. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Jackson's got the ball. Fast break, here they come. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Jackson down low. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope, and Leonard stays with it. And that's the activity on the offensive glass they like to see out of Kawhi. And when he's in full hustle mode, they're a much stronger team. Caldwell Pope outside. Out left to the wing. Leonard against Gasol. Schroeder outside. Fires the three. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Mark Gasol picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Lakers. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. Matthews comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Leonard kicks to Patterson. Out to Morris. Outside Leonard. No good on that one. Lakers leading by eight. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Here's the teardrop. Got a piece of it. Leonard with the steal. To the middle. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And Leonard enjoys jamming it home. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. Oh, high post. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. And again, no good by the Lakers. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Morris kicks to Kanaw. Clippers moving the ball around. to shoot. It's stolen. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And the Lakers making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Lou Williams is checked in for Luke Kunal. Taken away by Williams. And now Williams running the floor all by himself. You look at Williams and He's rather slight in build, but he's got sneaky strength and terrific body control. And the Clippers making a change here. George has checked in. The Clippers shooting their first foul shot of the night. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcast, you know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember <laughs> this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us, went back out on the floor. Doc Nudd just means that he'll be great in TV. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Lakers leading by three. Pass to Caruso. He kicks it to Harrell. Over in the corner, Matthews. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Caruso. Loads it up there for Harrell. And Harrell slams it in. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Pass to George. And he 
elevates with a slam dunk. Montrez Harrell did not like that. And you know, once George gets on the roll, he's just absolutely relentless, showing you how dominant he can be when he gets hot. Morris right side. Harrell the pass to Horton Tucker. To the left side wing, Caruso. And the three off target. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. And here's George for three. Morris with the rebound. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Morris. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. And then for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Patterson. Batum comes in for Leonard. And it's Jackson in for Morris. And Batum kicks to Williams. And here's George for three. He can't hit that time. The third quarter comes to a close. Lakers lead by five. And we'll be back with you right after this. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Clippers trail by five. Montrez Harrell is out there with Mark Gasol. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two-guard spot. That's the Laker five. Now George. Horton Tucker with the rebound. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Thirteen feet away. Off the left rim and out. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Outside Williams. Jackson against Kuzma. Jackson passes to Batum. No oh, good on the three. Lakers leading by five. Here's Harrell, and Harrell slams it in. Gasol is one of the best passers in the league. I mean, in his position, there aren't many better. Excellent at scanning the floor and finding the open man. And stolen by Kuzma. Last break, the Lakers. And Harold slams it in. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Williams kicks to Zubats. Now the pass to George. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Six on the shot clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. But they'll get another chance. The kick out to Williams. Jackson from long range. A rebound by the Lakers. Gasol's got rebound number five here tonight. Schroeder finds Kuzma. Here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Schroeder, and he uses the glass on the way. Schroeder's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Schroeder against Williams. Passes it to Zubats. Over Gasol. Got a piece of it. And so they foul intentionally. Ray, compare the times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact and a lot was let go on the floor to what we're seeing now in their 
seem to be a lot of whistles, a lot of stoppage of play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You, you, you know, you got to allow players to defend. And if they're in a legal guarding position, let them do their job. You know, eliminate the cheap ones. Part of the issue, though, partner, is now so much of the game is played on an island, right? You, yep. you don't have the crowds that you typically would see guys in back in our area. There's more space. The court, in that sense, is bigger. Uh, you're out there kind of on your own, man. And these guys are crafty at drawing fouls. It's never been harder for a defender. Here's George. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Here's Schroeder. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. In the corner, George with it. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. Jackson comes over with the double. Kuzma outside. On the wing, Morris. To the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope. And the rejection by Zubats. Here's Batum. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his third assist on the night. And you know, Batum with that Greyhound build and stride covering ground in a hurry. Schroeder kicks to call well Pope. Back to Schroeder. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Lakers lead by 11. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Dennis Schroeder. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. The Lakers with the ball. Caldwell Pope for three. But he gets it back. Pass to Keiko. Back to Caldwell Pope. Fires the three. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And how about the Bucks, who are showing calm as they come. Here's a look at some of the stats for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know... He hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. And now the Lakers starting group. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Morris. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Mark Gasol, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the two spot. And for Milwaukee, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Middleton in at the three spot. It's good on the putback. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Schroeder, right side, and stolen by DiVincenzo. Inside, and to Takumbo. And Giannis throws it down. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Giannis Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's on Dennis Schroeder. You can't fall for that. Once the piss gets you in the air, the rest is easy. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. To the inside. Here's Schroeder. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. The Bucs have gone two or three here to start out the game. Outside Holiday. He feeds it to Lopez. Gasol with the steal. And here we go. Kuzma heading to the hoop. Basket counts. Caldwell Pope's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, man. I love how Caldwell Pope uses his muscle on the drive, just bouncing off the defense and nailing some pretty difficult shots. Holiday against Schroeder. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Back to Holiday. Kicks it down to Middleton. Six on the shot clock. Morris against Giannis. Rejected by Gasol. You gotta be wary of Gasol. I mean, he's good at using his length to turn away shots. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. 
Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Here's Caruso. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Willard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while, he remains humble and really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, uh, I'm also not just an analyst partner, but a fan and a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. And Milwaukee has possession after Markeith Morris's miss. Stolen by Middleton. He lobs it up, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Horton Tucker, the pass to Harrell. Out to the wing, launches a three. Caruso, no good. The Bucks trail. Now the Bucks moving it up. Back to Forbes. The Bucks working the ball around. Portis kicks to Forbes. Trying to end the drought, he lays it in. Oh, looking to connect with the open man, Portis. He's got the right mentality out there. 58 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Caruso. Harold down low. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And, yeah, and don't leave out his rebound. He had a big impact in that game with all his effort on the glass. Here's Connaughton after the basket by Montrez Harrell. 32 seconds left in the first. The pass to Forbes. Six to shoot. He found the open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Morris inside. Guarded by Tucker. Pass to Caruso. To the paint. Here's Harrell. And Middleton with the block. A shot. No good. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Lakers lead by two. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Well, no question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. Three. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Harrell. Then it's Matthews. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horton Tucker in at the small forward. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis. And Ana Tacumbo subbed in for P.J. Tucker. And then for Los Angeles. Marcus Gasol is checked in for Harrell. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Matthews. Here's Ante Tacumbo. Beautiful dish. And the layup goes down. Ante Dacumbo has got his second bucket of the game to go. Schroeder against Holland. Schroeder with the ball. Here's Horton Tucker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Holiday against Schroeder. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Pass to Connaughton. Shakes him. It's blocked. Pass break. The Lakers. Oh, Kuzma's in position. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. 
Outside Holiday. To the middle. Double team on Holiday. Back to Lopez. Holiday against Schroeder. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Here we get a moment now to view the league's stingiest defense. The Lakers second. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Down low. Passes it to Horton Tucker. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. A moment now to see the numbers for Holiday. He's putting up about 16 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in, but, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And you can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Holiday against Schroeder. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. And the basket is good. The Bucs, they won their last contest that game against the Celtics. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, picking your spots. And as long as you do that, you put yourself in a good position to win, no matter if you're home or away. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Anthony Davis. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, Abby Portis is checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. And these are shots Kuzma will take all day. He's very confident in his ability to score. And Forbes kicks it to Tucker. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's tightly guarded. Lock at six. Middleton the pass to Portis. And here's DiVincenzo. From oh! Oh! Tell us how you really feel about oh. that finish. Oof. What intensity on the glass from Portis. Junkyard dog. <laughs> he worked so hard for the second chance opportunities. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded closely. And Forbes kicks it to Tucker. DiVincenzo passes to Tucker. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Caruso, defended by DiVincenzo. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. No good on the three. Bucks trail by three. So the wing on the left, and Forge kicks it to Tucker. The pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Portis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Portis has got four this quarter. If this speaks to how strong Portis is, it's obvious he enjoys showing off that muscle. And some good... All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie John, a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At the end of the period, they were up by two. That's all for now. Say goodbye.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. One guy who's been getting it done is Dennis Schroeder. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Giannis passes to Lopez. Offensive rebound. No good on that one. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Schroeder. Morris looking over the floor. To the paint. Gasol kicks to Kuzma. A beautiful reverse layup. Kuzma's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Lakers. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Holiday against Schroeder. They get a hand on it. Gasol with the steal. Here we go. One on one. Puts it up from 12. Morris passes to Gasol over Lopez. And a beautiful finish by Gasol. And now a five-point Laker lead. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. The Lakers shooting wonderfully up to this point, 67%. Nice, and you can't forget about the bunnies on Caldwell Pope. I mean, this guy is definitely looking to slam it down whenever he gets an opportunity. Here's Giannis. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. The Bucks making a switch here. Donaldson's checked in. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. Here's Schroeder. Here's Harrell. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Harrell's got his second basket of the night. That's their third straight make off an assist. Schroeder against Holiday. The feed now to Lopez. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harry. And the Bucks with some changes. P.J. Tucker comes in for Brooke Lopez. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Chris Middleton. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Caruso's checked in. I mean, he's got a lot of smarts on the court. But Tucker doesn't need to think too much on that assist. It was wide open. In last season, P.J. Tucker signing a six-figure sneaker deal with Nike, maybe helping to offset how much he spent on shoes over the years. Yeah, G.A., the most renowned sneakerhead in this league. He owns thousands of pairs, and you'll even see him change sets in the middle of the game. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Horton Tucker, covered by Giannis. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That'll be his second foul of the game. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. The Bucks have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And Holiday kicks it to Tucker. Right side, Portis. Pass to Connaughton. And Forbes has it in the corner. Portis in the post. Harrell on him. Portis can't get it to go. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Caruso, the pass to Morris. He dishes it to Harrell. Bucket is good. Harrell's got four points now in the quarter. Look at Morris break down the defense on this play. If they leave one of his guys open, he's going to get it to him fast. Tucker the pass to Portis. Let's the three fly. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Connaughton's got his first two points. 
I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Caruso, no good. Milwaukee's gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Holiday goes in and stolen by Harrell and the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Brent Forbes. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Horton Tucker plays it up and banks it in. And the Lakers lead by four. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Portis kicks it to Tucker. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now, here's Portis. He hits it from nine. Portis has got six. So sure. Sometimes Portis prepares himself to shoot the ball as, as it's coming his way. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Lakers lead by two. And do not. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Hey, we got a lot of good looks. We're good. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Montrez Harrell is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Mark Gasol. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Schroeder in at the point. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Great positioning on the putback. Lopez has got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Now you got to respect the effort. When Lopez is determined to rebound the ball. It makes a difference. Here's Schroeder. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Middleton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's DiVincenzo shooting foul. And here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. With double checking, and the game continues on. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for Portis. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, during that last time out, I listened to Frank Vogel talk to his team. Folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Close game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. Schroeder against Holiday. Kicks it out to Schroeder. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Antetokounmpo looking it over. 
and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the score. He's put this offense on his back. Holiday against Schroeder. Right side, Gasol. Back to Schroeder. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hog in that one. Kick out to Giannis. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Lopez dishes to Holiday. Back to Lopez. Gasol with the defensive effort. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Stolen by Holiday. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And the best part of that sequence wasn't Holiday's steal, but his quick decision to push the ball and start the break. That's when the D's most vulnerable. He took advantage. Schroeder with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Los Angeles with another miss. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Bucks leading by three. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Antetokounmpo. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. And it's Schroeder missing. And he's got to do a better job making the D pay for them still. Good. Once again, that makes him 8 for 9 this game. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering momentum. They've been a more cohesive team over this stretch. And that helps account for their lead. Schroeder outside. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust, and that's reflected in the score. Middleton looking it over for Los Angeles. They've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. And it's Schroeder missing. On offense, here are the Bucks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Even Shenzo can't hit it. No room for them to make a mistake here. You gotta almost play perfect from here on out. Lopez with the steal. Giannis outside. Passes it to Holiday. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's Horton Tucker. Kuzma outside. A three-pointer off the mark. And so the Bucks take the win. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
He is what... Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. And D.A. Jacob. Good evening, Kevin. What a story. David, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for the Clippers, Ajan Rondo is out there with Paul George. Then there's Patrick Patterson. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. DiVincenzo can't hit it. George with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Even Shenzo with it. In the game against Boston, very impressive. Out of the Kumbo, finds Lopez. A putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Lopez has got the first basket of the game for the Bucks. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Up top, Leonard. Shot clock at five. Banked in off the glass. The great fans and players alike are excited for tonight. This is just not another game on the schedule. Clash of the Titans in this one. This will be a great test for both teams. Even Chenzo passes to Holiday. Stolen by Zubac. And now the fast break. George with the ball. And then Leonard with the jump. Flexing at the rack. Leonard doing what he can to fire up his teammates. Pass to George. Now Zubac. Nobody near Leonard. Sinks the three-pointer. Leonard's got seven points. Bucks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And Middleton kicks to Anadokounmpo. The kick out to Holiday. And again, the Bucks miss. And maybe it's the adrenaline talking, but they're one for four to start this game. Need to settle down. Milwaukee has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And just hard to match up with Antetokounmpo's speed, especially in the open floor. Now George. 17 points in his last outing. There's the pass to Zubats. Now here's Leonard from deep three-point range. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. No good. Shot missing. Now the Bucks take it the other way. And, and Smitty with LeBron getting into his late 30s. KD coming off the Achilles. For your money, is Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world? Great question. I know one player, the Greek freak, might have something to say about that. No less than Michael Jordan himself called Kawhi the best two-way player in the game. That's a very strong endorsement from MJ. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Bucks trail by three. And here is DiVincenzo. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Leonard against Zonda de Kumbo. Passes it to Rondo. George, that's a two pointer. Ante de Kumbo pulls it in. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Kawhi is carving up this defense. Love his awareness. He is finding the open man. And Holiday kicks to Ante de Kumbo. Lopez controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Leonard on the wing. Zubats against Lopez. Now here's Zubats. Defense is right there. Lopez with the block. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the swat. Want to see more of this from the big fella. And Patterson kicks to Ronda. Pass to Zubats. Back to George. And 
and Zoyanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a three-point game. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. And they did win that last game in this matchup. And it seemed they got the benefit of the whistle. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Stolen by Tucker. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. It's all tied here in Los Angeles. And we'll be back shortly for the... And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Winning the turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Chris Middleton is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Bobby Portis, and it's Forbes in a point guard. Portis, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Speaking of Bobby Portis, he's going to fight, he's going to scrap, he's going to give you maximum effort every night. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10 with, with those hands. He's incredible to watch on that. And how about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1". I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man. And that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. I like the Chris Pauls, the Patrick Beverleys. There are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball like dogs. you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great players. The Clippers shooting 40% from the field. Now, here's Kanar. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. A decisive finish for Reggie Jackson at the rim. The Bucks trail. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Middleton outside. He kicks to Tucker. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. No good from Connington. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Back to Jackson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now a four-point Los Angeles lead. I'll tell you, Jackson's first step is dynamite. A big asset off the dribble. Tucker the pass to Forbes. Here's Forbes. And the Bucks miss again. Clippers leading by four. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Jackson. That one doesn't go. And Milwaukee the other way now. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure in that one. Didn't happen, and boy, they just rolled. They came in focused and ready to play, and despite facing little resistance, they never pulled back. A shot by Batum, no good. Bucks have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Here is Forbes, guarded by Jackson. Pass to Portis, and he banks in the layup. Portis has got it all tied up now for the Bucks. That was physical D, but Bobby Portis is so strong, he finished through contact. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Morris kicks to Kanon. 
No good on the triple. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Here's Forbes. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. For Los Angeles, they've gone 3-7 of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. And Morris throws it down. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking ability, Luke's groin as a distributor. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That's foul number two for him. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for the Bucks. To the middle. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered by Leonard. And the pass to Portis. Leonard with the steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. All going up court. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. So difficult to stop Leonard from scoring. Sometimes you just have to foul him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Bryn Forbes. The Bucks have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. The first one falls. And so he hits both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Here's Rondo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Ball's knocked loose. Shot clock at six. Here we go with Holiday running it up the court. Here's DiVincenzo. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Zubac kicks to Rondo. Leonard the pass to Rondo. And here is Patterson. And here's George for three. And that one is off. That shot missing. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And now, thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. At its highest, their lead topped out at five points. That's all for now. Say goodbye. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. They've got Paul George. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Patrick Patterson. That's Rajon Rondo. And it's Zubac in at the five. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Breaker, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor gen, a good point guard, a good facility. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you played for them. Uh, and that's when you have a team a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No. That oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. it, you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. The Clippers in the lead. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by George. Leonard's got 11 points. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. And Holiday kicks to DiVincenzo. Hands it from downtown. He has seven. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. To the inside. Kicks it out to Leonard. Finish 
finished off by Leonard. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Bucks trail by three. And guys, even though he's in a big market, Kawhi Leonard still not one for the spotlight. <laughs> that is so true. It's not about the fame for him. He's in L.A., but Kawhi Leonard stays in his bubble. All the trappings that come with being a great player, he's truly focused on the love of the game, winning and being the best possible player he can be. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Mann passes to Morris. Batum inside the three-point line, and again, no good by the Clippers. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. In the corner, Middleton with it. Back to Tucker. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Pass to Zubac. Now Jackson, defended by DiVincenzo. Jackson looking around. Wide open look here for Zubac. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. I like when Reggie Jackson is seeking out his teammate. He could have took that shot, but his teammate, he was wide open. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Saturday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And it's going to be home game after home game after home game for this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. And a brief look while we had the chance of a few of the hottest big men in the NBA. The leaders among centers and power forwards in field goal percentage during the last month. Second, Ivica Zubac. And it's one thing to be able to create high-quality shots for yourself, but you still have to finish. And, and there's no doubt all those guys can do both. Every one of them possesses a great touch around the basket. When they receive the ball in good position in the paint, it is just about automatic. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And the Bucks making a change here. Onto the Kumbos checked in. Got that one up quick. Even Genzo's got five points now this quarter. Great look by Portis for a young player. He really understands what they're trying to do. Left side Jackson. Morris dishes to Jackson. Here's Oturu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. The Clippers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And so he makes both from the line. Bucks trail by seven. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Giannis throws it down. It's so strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Outside, George. Pass to Jackson. Kicks it to Morris. Six on the shot clock. And George, here we go. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Strong take by Paul. He plays with great decisiveness. The Clippers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And the layup falls. George has got the lead up to eight now for Los Angeles. So smart with the ball in his hands. George reads the floor well and takes advantage of what's there. 
count that one. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. George, no good on the free throw. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. And so it's the... The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks, Trailing by 10. On the four from Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Connaughton in it from the small forward position. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's Patterson finishing it off. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Rondo kicks to Patterson. Taken away by Holiday. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. And so here are the Clippers. Back to Rondo. Inside, taken away by Holiday. And here we go. There's the lob into the Kumbo. Back to DiVincenzo. The kick out to Holiday. Six to shoot. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Holiday's got his first points of the game. What strikes you about Drew Holiday? The maturity. We saw it in college, and we saw it right there, beating the clock. Rondo spanning the floor. To the middle. Here's George. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Great positioning on the putback. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Los Angeles leading by seven. Right side, George. Pass to Rondo. Offline with his three. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Connaughton, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. This is who you want leading that play, a sure passer with great awareness. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here, and the Clippers making a change here. Zubats is checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Middleton's checked in. Down low, Leonard. Great D that time for Middleton. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. Outside Rondo. Leonard, the pass to Zubats. Over to the left wing. And Patterson kicks to George. with the block. Hope they get it there. Terrific two-way player. Drew Holiday not giving an inch. And he sends that one way back. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Here's George. Here's Zubats. In the corner, it's Patterson. And again, no good by the Clippers. Bucks have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. We have to now review the personal foul in question. 
And, and this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replay, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lewis who talked with the team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. you got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. After you guys. Middleton looking it over. Here's Tucker. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Three on three. Outside Leonard. Rondo finds Zubats. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Jackson. No good again that time. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Lopez. It's in! That is world class. The incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Comfortable inside, plus the seven foot three wingspan. Hard to stop Kawhi without fouling. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And the leadership Lopez gives this team really important. He's someone his younger teammates look up to. That's why you want him at the line when the game is close. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. Outside Jackson. Count it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. That's what Jackson's doing right now. Supreme confidence in the clutch. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. They break the heart. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.